Today, February 21st, there was a mayoral forum hosted by Westside Minister Coalition. The invitees to the forum was the running candidates uh, for the mayor and his sitting mayor, which would include Bob Fioretti, Willie Wilson, uh, Chewy Garcia, and Doc Walls, and your sitting mayor, Mayor Ron Manuel. There was um, an, um, a moderator for the forum. Um, the only three candidates that showed up on time was Willie Wilson, Bob Fioretti, and Doc Walls. So there was a lot of interesting questions for the forum. They talked about the TIF dollars, how they leave our community and they pass down and they go back downtown uh, to build your Millennium Parks and to uh, upgrade your, your Marriott's and all that stuff. Uh, they talked about the educational portion. They talked about the starvation of our communities as far as stores. Uh, they talk about um, how our communities are the one who suffers the most in um, when we have sitting elected officials. Uh, they may mention that our present mayor does not put attention to the South and the West Sides, which is sad. Uh, but the funny part to this is why they was asking, answering all these questions uh, with the news media present to, no, it was five, seven, Fox. Um, while it was present, it walks Jesu, well, Chewy Garcia, whatever his name is, it walks him late. They're on the third question and he walks in, you know, really fast and he walks up to the stage and he sit down and then he apologizes. But the, the sad part to it is he even left his assistant, whoever she may be, step up to the front, nod her head a couple of times. So he did, he he probably saw, but then so then she pulls out a phone, texts him, and then after he asks the question, he says, Well, you have to excuse me. I have to leave. I have prior engagement. Here is my problem. And I've seen Chewy in other uh areas of the West Side. He's never stayed to anything. So that itself speaks volume to me as a voter. If you don't have the time to sit there so I can understand your platform, what you will and you will not do, so I can make my, my good decision whether I want to vote for you or not, you don't have the time, then I don't have time to put my vote in the slot for you. I just don't. I think that's very disrespectful to walk in late and then leave early. You're not even there all of 10 good minutes for you up and you're gone. That does not make for a good candidate for a mayor at all, not for the city of Chicago. Willie Wilson, I know the church folks, you all love him, but his answers are not answers. You can't beat around the bush. We have to have real solutions to the problem. And then when the wrap-up time comes up, and, I, and prayer is good. Prayer good is good is good. But when somebody asks you what you would do, sum it up, we need the answer to that question and not prayer because you do that in every form. Bob Fioretti, people may think he's a good choice, and that's your choice. But I can't vote for somebody when you're having a form and you don't look. Your head is always turned and you're asking your question. I need you to look at me as a representation for me. You suppose you're going to be my voice. I need you to have that eye-to-eye -eye con contact when you're talking about your platform. Well, as we know, Ron Emanuel did not show up. He made the statement he's only doing five forms. He did his five, so he stayed at home with his legs crossed, drinking coffee, eating chips, whatever it may be. He did not show up. So this has never happened on the West Side. And I think it speaks volume that he don't feel it important enough to come to the West Side of Chicago to present his platform at all. So that speaks value to me. For all you ROM lovers, I know you love them. I'm not a fan. Not at all. Uh, especially when you take money out of our communities and shift it where they don't really need it. We have, like Doc Walls said, we have the most abandoned buildings. We don't have no real grocery stores. And that is true. We have to think about our kids on the street. And if you want to fix our community, jobs is important. Bottom line. And so the only candidate that was up there that made sense to me was Doc Walls. 
Now, if I'm going to vote, that's who I'm going to be voting for would be Doc Walls. Now, I'm saying to you all, I know you got comfortable, you discouraged, uh, you feel that nothing is going to be done, but we have to press forward and continue to make that effort to make the changes in Chicago, Illinois, in our neighborhoods. It is desperately needed. We can't sit back and say, my vote won't make a difference because it will make a difference. Your voice is your vote, and we need to exercise that right to vote. People have done so many things to get us to that point. We can't sit back behind closed doors and continue to complain about something that we have the opportunity to step on the other side of the door and make that change. Please check your candidates, people. Check out your candidate. Do your research. And for those who got all these glorified endorsements, you need to realize those are organizations. They don't live in your community. They don't know what your neighborhoods are like. And they're supporting them for a means and a reason. You understand what I'm saying? And when people brag and you got all this cat fighting and stuff, that speaks volume too. Listen to the unspoken message of what people do. We need good qualified people sitting in office. We can't afford to play anymore. We just had an election not too long ago that even though I didn't vote for Bruce Rauner, I did not. I, I didn't feel he was a good candidate and he wasn't going to be beneficial to our people. Period. And it has been proven right because all the ministers of support, he's already cut out the daycare action. And recently, the 400 plus thousand that was supposed to be given to the Austin Town Hall, he that Pat Quinn gave, he didn't cut all that out and took it back. So people, wake up and smell the coffee. The handwriting is on the wall. Do not sit in your houses and think it does not matter because it does. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for your children. Get out and vote. I call my family. I call my friends. I make sure we get out and vote. It's important. You can't complain when you don't make an effort to make a change. And the change only comes when you let your voice be heard and voted. And believe me, they need the black vote like you would not believe. We are important people. And so we have to realize that power that we have and use it wisely. Now, again, as I say, and I'll still say this, and I'm going to end this video with this for the ultimate of the 37th war i'm punching 51 for leroy duncan so that is my choice that's my selection you make a wise choice for you you can't let people continue to run on their mama their mother's legacy their mothers are gone that was their fight and back then that was a different fight Chuy Garcia said he worked with Hair Washington in 85. He worked on education, uh, economic development, you know, to get us. With, and this is 2015. And I have yet to see any difference that you made in that fight that you had back in 1985. Why do we always go, with, go backwards? We don't see no change. The school still closed. For all the Chicago teacher unions uh, who supported the two candidates you supported, we still have closed schools. So your voice really didn't do anything. And what if you couldn't do it then, what makes you think you're so good to do it now? All I'm just saying, think about your choices that you make and make the best decision on February 24, 2015, which is Tuesday. My choice for mayor and I have not been paid for advertising for Doc Walls. I'm going by what I have heard in different meetings around the city of Chicago. And to me, he is the best candidate. And I've already explained to you how I feel about my selection for Alderman. And I am going to punch 51 for Leroy Duncan. You all have a great evening. Enjoy.